Take two with Ronnie Davis. The oil heater clicked on there, made it a little noisy, so we decided we'd do a different one here. Last year, second in points at Fulton, did get a couple of wins running a dirt car 358. Ninth place at Brewerton on Friday. Did not get a win in the Chris Clark Tom Core car, but that is coming soon, I have a feeling. Did follow the 358 series. Got to walk across the stage at the banquet. Fifth in points yeah. there. Has not won a series race yet in a big blocks or small blocks, but I have a feeling, like we said, that might be coming down the road. Yeah. Two cars behind him. The white one is the one we saw him assemble last year. That's the Troyer with the Evo nose, I believe mm-hmm. it's called, yep. right? And the one behind him, that's going to be his big block car. So how are we doing? Uh, not bad. Thanks Looks for, like uh, we have some work to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just a little bit of the full day, I think, uh, pending, you know, waiting on parts, we'll uh, be able to get them all together and ready to go. Like I said, a lot of the stuff is here, you know, ready to bolt on. It's just waiting on that major stuff, and I could have it done in a day, a good day. So. Okay. So do we have everything? You want me to be able to tell, but the engine is in the 358. Mm-hmm. Do you have everything you need to finish this car? Yes. Yeah, other than the transmission and steering box, um, the rest of it's sitting over in that corner, and the body's up in storage there, so... Uh, once I get that, I can finish getting it together. Tires are right behind you, so um, okay. it's just a matter of scaling it up. and Transmission it being rebuilt? Yep. yep. Over Both at Scott's? that and the steering box are being rebuilt. Yep. Okay, over um, at Jeffries, right? Uh, actually, Buzzy Racing does those. He okay. um, puts different bearings and stuff in them, so he's in the process of doing that. Um, How expensive is, is that, a transmission rebuild? What's that? Um, 500 Well, I'm just the rear end was 300 I think. Okay. Okay. Um, that's with some help from of our sponsors with, you know, superior bearings is helping us with uh, bearings and stuff like that. So uh, it was a little bit cheaper than what, you know, it would normally be. But um, steering box and transmission, I'm not sure yet. Okay, I'm <laughs> yeah. waiting to see. So, and the steering box parts are here, available now. Mm-hmm. I know that shaft was a big thing they were looking for. So if you had trouble finding one last year, you should not have trouble this year. Plan for this is obviously back to Fulton for this car? Yep, uh, Fulton Weekly with this car. Um, I'll do Dirt Week. Uh, you know, obviously can am here in a few weeks with it. Uh, local stuff. Um, I don't know if I'm going to follow the whole series with it, but uh, uh, as much as I can. Well, at least the fun races around here that the tracks you run well at, yeah. right? Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. All right. The big block, that has a big hole in it right now. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, off getting surgery right now. So uh, that's just waiting on an engine and, um, you know, it's all gone through and ready to go. So as soon as I get that, I can put the engine in and get that race ready again too. Told me you hurt that down in Volusia. What happened? Mm-hmm. Uh, broke a valve and uh, it did some damage to the head too. So uh, nothing super catastrophic, but enough to, mm-hmm. you know, set us back and, yeah, you know. Could have dropped that be- valve too. And that would have created a whole mm-hmm. other. Yeah. Set yeah. Of luckily situations. it didn't really um, spread too much, you know, metal through the oil or uh, take out anything on the bottom end. So um mm-hmm. We got lucky, but it still sucked. <laughs> so what happens in that situation as a driver? Can you just tell that you all of a sudden lost a cylinder? Um, it came on pretty quick, yeah. About a, a half a lap, I I noticed it was kind of laying down, and then I stood on the gas a little bit more, and it just started vibrating, so I just killed yeah. it and coasted. Yeah, you, you don't know, even so. worry about where you are at that moment. No, right? no. As soon as you can hit that switch. I was last, so it didn't really matter. But <laughs> okay. What was yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> that was the compressor that, that time. That was yeah. the compressor. Yeah. Okay, all yeah. right. So a little too much there. What's the plan for the big block then? The, uh, the series. Yep. Yes. Okay, uh, that's Super Car Series. Yep, that's pretty okay. much all it's going to be on. So uh, Are you following the whole thing? Yes. Yep. Okay. Following the whole thing. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. I've always wanted to do it. You know, yeah, that's. Bet. That's my dream, you know, mm-hmm. to just follow Super Dirt Car Series uh, and be competitive and, uh, you know, give that nine car competition one day, yeah, you know. Yeah, that would have, that's everybody's dream is get up next yeah. to him and pass yeah. him. So, yeah. but, uh, so you would not have made Atomic then, would you? No, no. And that was, that, I was praying for a rain, you know, <laughs> on rain that one. But, uh, please, please, I usually right don't, out. but uh, that mm-hmm. one, yeah, I was. I was glad it rained out because um, mm-hmm. that would have put us really behind. But um, looks like a cool track, though. I, I yeah. looked up some video from there. It yeah. would have been fun, and yeah. you would have probably gone and watched maybe or mm-hmm. something. Well, I would have been watching on Dirt Vision, that's for sure. But, oh, okay, uh, <laughs> you wouldn't have gone. So yeah, okay. I uh, you know I watched videos of it, and I talked to Mike about it because he's been there with the late model. So uh, it's uh, he said it was a cool track, and I was looking forward to it. But um, you know, mm-hmm. just with our deal and then the rain, so yeah, okay. Yeah. The mic he's talking about is Mike Maresca, by the way. He was just here to pick up his trailer just a few moments ago. Still in the Chris Clark Tom Core car mm-hmm. for Friday night? Yep, Friday night deal with them still. Um, you know, I'm fortunate to be driving for them yeah. Friday nights. Uh, it's a fun deal for us. And, uh, you know, this year I really got to get results. You know, last year we were kind of – we weren't the greatest, but um, I'm pretty confident with this year. Uh, got some new stuff, so um, we'll see how we, how we do. Okay. We're going to be able to get one over there this year? 
I plan on getting a couple over there. A couple? Okay, <laughs> yeah. that's even better. I like <laughs> yeah. that. That's nice. Yeah, so, yeah they're nice guys oh, yeah. down in the southern tier. Yep. So, um, mm-hmm. Have they ever won at Brewerton? I think they got one with Gary, didn't they? Yeah, well, so, I mean, I, years prior, I've won with them. So. Uh, oh, okay. Actually, my very first start in the big block, I won. Oh, I remember And it was that with them now. Yeah, at Brewerton. Was that in 2021? Um, earlier than that, I think 18 19, or 19. Maybe? Okay. Um, and then we won a couple, not last year, the year before. Mm-hmm. two races uh that year so all right so we've look, had some you know we've had some success but uh last year was just our off year so yeah so look for him in victory lane very very soon both cars the same both cars the mm-hmm. evo front end yep. yeah yeah they're identical identical wise, yep okay all right now we're gonna do two other things here that'll be coming up in the next few days one we're gonna show you what a dry sump system is big blocks run that and actually some of the big small blocks from what i understand mm-hmm. run that and we're also going to show you how they can make some adjustments in the car and how he knows what he's doing as far as brake bias and some of you guys might not even no, but you can actually shut the right front brake off, and Ronnie's going to explain to us why you might want to do that. So, thanks for your time, man. I appreciate it. Thanks yeah. for having us out. Yeah, thank you. Hit the blue E, guys. Subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff this year. This is our make or break year. So, uh, hit that super thanks if you can. Turn on your notifications, all that cool stuff. Ronnie, have a great season. I'll see you soon. Thank you.